Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to be mad scientists and we are going to be doing bubble print making. These are the supplies you are going to need. You're going to need some regular paper that's blank. You're going to need a couple of um, containers that you can use. They can be things that can you could put food in. It's not going to ruin it to put food in it after this. You need a straw. You need three different colors of food coloring right here, and you need some kind of soap. I used a uh, dish soap. So to make this project, you need all of these materials. So if you could gather these materials right now, then we can practice being mad scientists. Hello, I am Dr. Ciotti, and I am here to do a little experimenting with art. So people call me mad, but I'm not mad. I'm very, very calm. <laughs> anyway, I think maybe it's the hair. I, I try to do stuff with it, but it just doesn't work. Bubble printmaking, but we are also going to be experimenting with color mixing. So, the first thing I'm gonna ask you is, what are the three primary colors? Da, na, 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 na. If you said red, yellow, and blue, you would be correct, yes! Um, okay, so, I have here red, yellow, and blue food coloring. So I'm gonna put the blue food coloring in my first little vial of stuff. I am going to put the yellow food coloring in my next little vial of stuff. It kind of looks orange because it's like concentrated yellow, but it's actually yellow. I'm gonna put the red in my last flask. Okay, so now I have the blue, I have the yellow, I have the red. So I also need this and I need bubbles. I need my soap container. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soap in the blue. Doo, 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 doo. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of soap. I'm gonna put a little bit of soap in the yellow. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of soap. And I'm gonna put this upside down and wait until I put it in the red. I'm gonna start with the blue and the yellow. I have another little container here that I'm gonna be using for the blue and the yellow. I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna mix this up a little, woo -hoo -hoo! mix it, mix it. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow in here like so. I'm gonna put a dash of this blue. Mix it, mix it! Oh yeah, I'm mixing up, I'm mixing up with the soap. Okay, put a little bit of blue in there, like so. So now I'm gonna mix this up. And what do we get? We get a weird green. So, yellow and blue make green, that's right. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the yellow. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow in here. I'm gonna take, ooh, I didn't do the soap yet for the red. I'm glad I remembered that, because I'm kinda old, so I forget things. Okay. Mix it, mix it, oh yeah, mix it, mix it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a dash of the red in with the yellow. And if I mix that up, what does that make? It makes orange. Boop, 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 I got my orange. Okay, now I'm gonna take a dash of the blue and mix it with the last color that I haven't mixed with blue. I already mixed it with yellow. I am going to mix it with the red. So, dash of blue. And a little bit of red.
And what does that make? What does that make? What does that make? You can't see it yet. What do you think it makes? If you said purple, you would be correct. It made purple. So these are my three primary colors. And these are my three secondary colors. So I'm going to take each one of those and I'm going to either blow bubbles right into them or put them in a different container because I can't really blow bubbles into this. I'm going to try my blue first. I'm going to put it in this container. Try to get all that soap in there. Mix it up. It's not very well mixed. Okay. And then I'm going to get my straw. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. And then I'm going to make sure that I have my paper nearby, my white paper, and I'm going to blow bubbles. Now, you do not put your mouth in the straw and then suck in because then you're going to get wah, wah, a mouthful of soap. You don't want a mouthful of soap. That's gross. So you're going to take a big breath and then blow into the straw. Oh, the bubbles are flowing, the bubbles! And you put it on there. It comes out very light. Your print comes out very light. I don't know if you could even see it on the camera. You see that? It's a print. If it came out too light, I am going to do it again. And I'm going to do it again on the same spot that I did before. So I'm going to pop right there so that I have more bubbles on there. When those pop, those are going to be a print that looks kind of bubbly. So I'm going to set this aside. That was my blue. I'm going to take the orange. No, this is actually yellow. This is not orange. That's orange. So now I have my straw, I'm going to put it in the yellow and see what happens. <gasps> I am a mad scientist! <laughs> Ooh, another piece of paper. And the yellow you're not going to see very well because it's very, 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 very light. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! I'm gonna do another one right next to it. Boop! This is printmaking. Boop! Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that! Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Um, maybe I'll do a red one right next to the yellow one and see how that comes out. What if it overlaps a little and the red and the yellow make a print that looks kind of orange? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, this is not a good container for this. I gotta go get another container. I'm gonna take my red. I'm gonna put it. Ooh, I'm mixing it up first. I should show you that. Mixing up with the bubbles. Okay. Put a little bit in here. Maybe I'll put the whole thing in here. Whoop! Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take a deep breath. <gasps> oh, those are some good bubbles. Okay. We'll see if it does a good job. Ah, very, very light. Maybe I need more red experimenting you know you got to switch some stuff up you got to make it a little darker a little lighter whatever you got to mix some colors it's all good because you are a scientist and we're doing science with art oh my goodness oh my goodness gracious Okay, I don't know if you could see that. Maybe you could see a little better. I want to take this part out because it actually hit the edge and made a little something something that I don't really like. 
So I'm going to set that aside. I did my blue. I did my yellow. I did my red. Those are the... What? What are they? You know this. You know this. Those are the primary colors. If you got that right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got it right. You know your primaries. Okay. Now I'm going to do the secondary colors. Uh-huh. So I'm going to start with green because I really like this green. It's weird. I don't like weird. So I only have one sheet of paper left. That means all three of these secondary colors have to go on my one sheet of paper. Oh, well. Oh, that's good. So if you're really quick with the paper, it's better because there's more color in the bubbles if you're really quick with the paper. Yeah, definitely better. Okay, so let me show you. Oh, oh. Bum, bum, bum. Purple, oh, we don't like contamination. I'm gonna try the purple and see what happens. I'm gonna have to do it on the same paper because that's the only paper I got. So, here we go. I'm gonna be ready. Be ready with the paper for the bubble explosion. Bubbles. Okay. Ooh, that was pretty good. I was fast that time. All right. So many bubbles. Okay. Let's see if you can see that orange. That orange is pretty good. Okay. So... You are going to set these aside for next time. Next time, next time, next time. Because we're going to be doing something with them. We're going to be making them into something. So for today, you are all set. Just set your work aside and you're ready for next time. Have a great day. Have a great week.